You ever had to lie to save your life? My mother devised a system of code words and numbers that if used in certain ways meant different things. My older brothers would sometimes party with their friends in some not so great areas, so there were things that could be texted or said over the phone that saved them from bad situations. Maybe a rival gang showed up, the cops showed up, or there were unknown drugs on the scene. The words were, breakfast sausages, kitty litter, tampon slash pad slash period, and he could be used, ice cream, garbage, recycling. The numbers were 1 to 10, breakfast sausages at 10, meant something is happening here and I feel unsafe. My mom would question does that work for do you need me to come get you? Yes meant she came, no meant she alerted the cops who would usually just drive by. So, how did this help me? I was at a party where a guy was very insistent on getting me alone, and much bigger than I was. Upon getting me into a bedroom alone, he proceeded to push me down on the bed, and get on top of me. Over the noise of the party, screaming wasn't working so I struggled, kicking and wiggling. When he grabbed my hair and yanked me up, I caught an old school alarm clock with familiar red numbers and then started freaking out. Oh my god it's so late I'm going to be killed. He stopped for a second, confused, and I said I need to call my mom right now or she'll call the cops. I was supposed to be home an hour ago. Immediately he was off of me and my phone was in my hand. No one wants cops at a party. My exchange with my mom went a little something like this. Hey mom, super sorry that it's so late. I hope I didn't worry you I lost track of time. I thought you were going to stay with Teresa tonight after your party. Oh crap yeah mom I'll switch out the kitty litter tomorrow by 9. I'll make sure I'm dropped off early so it's done before the garbage is collected. Can you grab me some tampons at the store tomorrow? My would-be assailant is looking rather uncomfortable. I'll throw on a robe and be there in 5, be ready for me to scream. My mom proceeded to yell some rather nonsensical things at me over the phone, as I'd requested with tampons. Garbage was that whoever I was concerned about was near me, potentially being able to hear the phone conversation or read texts. Kitty litter meant I needed to leave ASAP, 9 meaning without cops. My would-be assailant was very uncomfortable and I left the room without a word, my mom yelling on the phone, and an overly exaggerated wince on my face. I reconnected with my friend and told her what happened, she walked me out with her boyfriend and ended up telling me that same guy had told her he thought we'd really connected and wanted my info. In the end, I lied, but I would've been raped if I hadn't. It's a system I'm glad to pass on to my daughter.